welcome back I'm Ro Blood and we are playing some Guns of Glory and today I'm gonna remake one of my uh, attack airship videos for PvP somehow uh, my last one got viewed by a few people and then got banned from the country <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess it has something to do with the copyright of the music in the background. But anyway, I managed to make a video that got banned in the United States. Uh, I know that I probably shouldn't feel good about that. But there's a part of me that just kind of feels like I achieved something. <laughs> so we're going to make this video over and uh, over. But uh, that's okay because there's some new stuff. And I want to talk about some of the new airship parts. So... No big deal. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to open up our airship here. And we're talking about attack airship for PvP. Now, this is how I set my PvP attack airship up most of the time. And if you, as you can see, I have the new airship parts. Uh, I just have the green ones at the moment, and I'll explain why. But uh, let's kind of take a look at what those do. Okay. Bronze cannon. It'll add uh, 5 plus to infantry attack, 5 plus to cavalry attack, and 5 plus to distance attack. You know, that's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I like that. Haven't enhanced it yet. I think I need a few more. Let's go check it out. Let's see. I have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I should be getting pretty close to be able to synthesize some more gears. The first time it was like six or eight, I can't remember, and then it gave me 40 gears. So the next time I do this, I should be pretty close to having 90 to enhance that to level two. But we're not quite there yet. And let's see, this next one is the Bronze Shield. 5% uh, defense, 5% cavalry defense, 5% uh, plus distance defense. You yeah, know, let's see, we got the bronze bearings. And this is your health stuff. Infantry health, cavalry health, distance health. And this is kind of one I like. I like the core. Um, it's kind of got a little bit of everything for all your troops. You know, it's got a plus 1% and a half for troop attack and troop defense and troop health. So I'll be trying to get that baby leveled up or possibly, you know, get a blue or a purple one. And I'll explain why here in a minute, why I don't have the blue and purple ones. Let's see. And this one is, uh, oh, it's one that we've already looked at. And that's another one we already looked at. So they're kind of double dipped, you know, on the defense. And on the attack, which is cool. But, anyway, I have the green parts. Because before this update came out, I wasn't doing the catacombs. I thought it was stupid. I didn't want to waste my my time on it. I thought it was boring. You know, let's go get lost in these catacombs for hours. You know, kicking frogs in the ass. You know, it's just not my thing. So, you know, I'm hard-headed like that. So, I didn't do it. And it come back to bite me. <laughs> right when they come out with this new update, to purchase these extra parts, you have to buy them in the Catacomb Trader. Yay! That's how I felt about it. You know, I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. So, you know, I, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do the Catacombs. I didn't want to waste my time. But to get the parts, to buy the parts, this is where you get them. And to unlock it, you had to be, for the green ones, it's level 25. For the blue ones, it's level 35. And the blue ones, you know, have a pretty good pretty good extra boost up. So I'm definitely going to, you know, be looking at getting those. And, uh, you know, same with the purple. But right now, I'm on level 30 in the catacombs. And I'm trying to wake my work my way up to 38. So I can get those extra extra uh, gears and parts you know the blue and purple ones and not only that so I can also get a different frame that gives me you know a 10% attack boost you know I'm 
any kind of attack boost. I'm all down for that. So I finally gave in to the catacombs. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, we're all blood. You said you would never do that. Well, I did. Okay, I did. <laughs> and I don't like it, but I'm doing it. But anyway, back to my attack airship. Let's see. I like to use the cards that are going to enhance the troops that I like to attack with. So I, I don't send a lot of artillery. So I have, there's no need for artillery cards to be in there at all. Um, I concentrate on distance and cavalry. Let's see. Distance versus infantry damage. Good one. And, you know, I got it up to level 16 and it has four stars on it. You know, your, your gears are important. Your stars are important. You know, mine aren't great, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting there. The other one is distance versus cavalry damage. Got to have that one on there. Let's see. This one is uh, cavalry versus distance damage. Got to have that one on there. You know, these... Whoops, looks like I removed one on accident. Those uh, four cards, in my opinion, these four red ones are, like, crucial. You know, they need to be on there at all times, in my opinion, whether it's attack or defense. But today we are talking about attack for PvP. And this is what kind of what I use. You know, the uh, only thing I change up is I like this infantry versus... Uh, 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 distant damage reduction, I like that, but sometimes I'll pull this card off, and I'll, t I'll tell you why. Now, you know, normally when I'm attacking, I I'm finally getting my troops back, you know, I've zeroed myself many times, that uh, this March Boost capacity is starting to be useful, because finally I'm getting enough troops to for it to be useful for me to have on there. But, I still want to send as much troops possible to do as much damage, but I also don't want to take a lot of losses. So what I do is, I send my attack, you know, if it's going to be more than a minute or so, I have time to come back into my airship after my attack is away and remove this card and replace it back with helps what helps protect my troops so I don't lose as many why my attack is still underway so you're like switching those out mid-fight you know it's a good little trick i made a little video about it you know hopefully it wasn't banned in this country i'm coming to go through all my videos to check to see if i've broken some kind of rule you know i mean it, it wouldn't be right if i at least you know didn't break one rule you know because you know sometimes i like to do that shit okay so switching that out mid-fight awesome gotta do that you know, especially if you're going to use your Colossal March and, you know, you throw in a March boost capacity and, and all that other stuff to boost it up. You pull that card, you put your defensive card back on there to reduce losses. And this is my attack airship, you know, for now. I plan on switching those airship parts out for blue and purple, you know, and so on. Uh, hopefully some gold ones. I mean, anything to boost these abilities is a must. I'm still working on getting level 40 unlocked, and when I do, I'm going to throw on some Battlefield Treatment, and then still switch out, I'll leave Battlefield, Battlefield Treatment on, and I'll leave my, you know, my other yellow card on, unless I'm going to switch it out with the March boost, but for the, for the final hit, for the final PvP hit, this is what I want it to look like. Now, this is what works for me, you know, I don't know a lot, I make mistakes, you know, I've been... You know, correct it on my videos, and I appreciate all the positive comments and the help. You know, we're learning how to uh, grow and play this game together in this kingdom. So, I hope this helps somebody out. I'm Royal Blood, 158. Peace.